protein it's healthy for a snack so what a fun thing to be able to do at home with not a lot of work so we have three different recipes that we're going to do just using plain hummus that you buy in a store just like this one okay so the first one that we're going to do is lemon hummus with feta so it's like a savory hummus that is also refreshing with the lemon so we're going to start by taking some of the hummus and you can put some in a bowl Now I'm not going to give you guys um, exact measurements for these recipes because it's the kind of thing where you can just add however much you think you want in there. If you want a little more lemon juice, a little less, I'm not going to give you guys direct um, measurements. So that makes it a little more fun and creative. Okay, so here's some plain hummus in a bowl. And to that I am going to add um, some crumbled feta cheese. Also, the lovely thing about this is if you don't like feta cheese, you could put in blue cheese, you could put in Parmesan cheese, or you could skip it all together. All right, and the next thing I'm going to put in is some lemon pepper. Hmm, that smells nice. Oh, super lemony, but with a little kick. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And then um, olive oil. This will make it just sort of a little more... Um, like stirrable so that it, it blends nicely with all the things that we're going to add. So I'll just pour a little extra virgin olive oil right on there. Great. Then we are going to add some lemon zest. Now here at the library we don't have a lemon zester and I forgot to bring mine from home. So I made these little lemon zest pieces with a knife. I just carefully shaved off a tiny bit of the outside and then diced it up small. So I'm going to throw a couple of those in. So if you don't have a lemon zester at home, you could do that, or you could use like a grater. If you have a cheese grater, that works pretty nicely for lemon zest. And then the last thing is a little lemon juice. Just however much you like. If you, you could be, I like it lemony, so I'm gonna go a little heavier. Okay. And then you're going to just stir it nicely. You don't have to put it in a blender or a food processor or anything like that because it's going to stir really nice. Hummus is very smooth stuff and it just incorporates with the olive oil and the lemon juice really beautifully. So, there you go. And you get this really pretty and it smells fantastic. It's all lemony and fresh and delicious. Now, to be pretty for some nice um, presentation, which, I mean, presentation is important, right? So I like to drizzle just a tiny bit of olive oil on the top and then sprinkle just the tiniest bit of paprika on there because that's a very um, nice little spice to go with hummus and it looks pretty. There we go. So that is our um, lemon hummus with feta cheese. Delicious, you could dip it, um, some of these little baby carrots would be great in there. Refreshing and delicious. All right, so that is hummus number one. All right, the next one that we are going to do is sort of a little spicy hummus, and it is spiced olive and salami hummus, yum. So we're going to take the same plain hummus that we're going to use for a base for all of these. I would suggest using the plain because then you can change it up to whatever you'd like. All right, so we put some of that plain in a bowl. And to that we are going to add some diced salami. This one is sort of a smoked um, pork and a beef, I think, salami. You could use... Um, like an Italian salami, you could use pepperoni or anything. Oh, um, what's that um, 
chorizo. That would be really good in there too. So sprinkle a little bit of that in, however much you like. And then we are going to add some olives. Now I have a nice little mix here of some um, Spanish green olives and some little Kalamata olives that I sliced up. You could use any kind in here. Again, my mom sends me at Christmas time these olives that are, they're Spanish green olives and they're stuffed with um, chorizo. I'm mean, sorry, not chorizo. They're stuffed with, um, um, oh, what is the, what are those peppers? They are chipotles. Yes, thank you. They are smoky and spicy, amazing. They would be so good in here, but unfortunately I don't have any at home, so I didn't bring them in. Um, next, we're going to add a little olive oil again. And a drizzle of red wine vinegar. Just, I would do just a tiny bit on that. Add just a little flavor, but you don't want the vinegar to overpower because you could easily have too much vinegar flavor. And then a little bit of black pepper. Now, I thought this would be a great thing to bring in. This is my little pepper grinder. I got this in Israel. It is a, it was an antique. It was an old Persian coffee grinder. And so, perfect for hummus, right? And I use it for pepper. There we go. So we're gonna mix this all up. And again, the, the olive oil and the little bit of vinegar make it really easy to mix and make it very smooth. Nice. So this one's gonna be a little bit spicy because of um, the black pepper and the salami that I chose. It's a little bit spicy, but you don't have to have it as spicy if you don't want. And again, for presentation, a little paprika, you can't go wrong. And then maybe you could top Top it with a couple more oops, olives on top just to make it pretty. And there you go. That is our number two salami and olive hummus. Very pretty and yummy. There we go. All right. Now the third hummus I chose for you guys, I wanted something different. Not sure how I feel about it, but it is something that I do see in the store, so I thought I would give it a try. And it is chocolate hummus. I don't know, let's give it a try. Start off with the plain hummus again. Now I guess chocolate hummus, it's supposed to be like a healthy dessert alternative, which makes sense. And you could probably dip some nice sweet things in there, like I brought in some apple slices. I think those would be really nice dipped in the chocolate hummus, maybe banana chips. Um, any kind of fruit would be great in there. So you start off with a little plain hummus, and then you're gonna put in a little bit of maple syrup. Makes sense, it's dessert, right? Chocolate, have to sweeten it a little bit. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit, again, just however much you think you want. If you want a little sweeter, add a little more. Then cocoa powder. There you go. That's chocolate hummus, so we need that, right? This is just unsweetened cocoa powder. Um, I wouldn't attempt to substitute like hot chocolate, you know, that hot chocolate mix that comes in the packets. I don't think that's going to work. You definitely need the Baker's cocoa unsweetened. And I'm just going to kind of really stir that well to incorporate that cocoa. And if you like it chocolatier, I would add extra. If you like it a little um, not quite so heavy on the chocolate flavor, then go a little lighter on the cocoa. I'm going to add a little more because if we're going to do chocolate hummus, let's do it, right? Okay. Um, powdery and wants to blow around, but it definitely looks chocolatey. It smells chocolatey. Okay. So now the cocoa is in there. And then our next ingredient on that is a little vanilla. You want to have some real vanilla if possible. 
and it's really, um, it's an extract, so it's very strong, you just need a tiny bit. And then a pinch of salt at the end, because salt brings out the flavors of whatever you're making. That's why whenever you bake anything, even if it's a sweet dessert, you always put a little salt in. So just a pinch. And you know what? I'm going to add a tiny bit more maple syrup to kind of thin this hummus out a little bit. And again, sweeten it. Okay. You know, I have to say it looks pretty good. It kind of looks like pudding. Um, if you wanted to make it pretty for a presentation, you could probably um, shave a little um, dark chocolate on top, pretty little shavings of dark chocolate or white chocolate, that would be nice, even a couple little chocolate chips on the top. And then you dip some, like I said, some maybe nice and sweet things like apples in there, or even something um, salty, like some pretzels might be really good dipped in that. So there is the chocolate hummus. So I hope that you guys can give these a try at home and tell us what you think of them. I'm going to try that chocolate hummus because I don't know. I wasn't sure, but I have to say it looks pretty good. So let's see. It's not bad. I can definitely taste the hummus, but it's also sweet. And it's very nice on an apple because you got the crunch of the apple and the little bit of sweetness. I don't know. I'm not sure it'd be my go-to snack, but it's worth trying, right? Um, I think the one that I would really enjoy the most is going to be the lemon. So I'm going to try that with a carrot. I do like hummus, so let's give this one a try. Mmm, that one is delicious. Super lemony. I can taste the pepper and the paprika. Mmm, that one's really good. All right, I think I absolutely need to try the olive one too because I've made them. So let's, you know, let's give them a try. I'm gonna have a look at that. I've even got an olive on there. Mmm. That one's really good. If you like olives, it gives it a really nice olive flavor. So, these three hummuses, super easy to do at home. Just buy a plain container of hummus, and jazz it up any way you want. You can add, you can be a little heavy on the ingredients, like the chocolate, you can be a little lighter if you don't like it as lemony. But give these a try. They're so nice and they're great for spring and it's a healthy, easy snack for you guys to try at home. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of In the Kitchen with EPL. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.